I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, displacement map or depth map, bump map in uh, Blender 2.8 using cycles, the baking displacement. So we have our low poly model here and I have a separate model that is the high poly of just this textured tongue and it's not the best thing but from a distance as long as it reads well for me that's all I want I have a material already on it but I'm gonna just do a new material real quick and show you how to set up the modif or the, the shader let me get rid of that and make a new one. Make sure this is all assigned. Um, I believe we're going to have to come back into edit mode and select everything in order to use this. Um, go to modifiers and add a, uh, where is it, a multi-resolution modifier. This is just going to be our, uh, we, we need this in order for the program to bake our, our additional uh, information. So I'm going to bump it up to about 5. And this is just because I'm going to use shrink wrap. I'm going to use shrink wrap to uh, take this information from the stronger, or from the uh, sculpted tongue. I'm gonna go ahead and change this color real quick so we can see it. Yeah. Now, alright. Now on top of this we add our shrink wrap. a little bit and I can just select tongue. I have multiple. Take a little bit. There we go. Now we can see that it's on there. And it looks pretty good. There's a little stretching in here which can be kind of eh. But if you want something precise and perfect this might not work. You might have to sculpt it here. I don't really know what all of these things do, but this is how I figured it out. Alright. Now, now that we have this information, we need to be sure to apply the shrink wrap. Gonna take a moment. Alright, now we have our material, we're going to go in here, we're going to make a, we want something new, and we want kind of a high resolution image, so we can times, I'm just going to times for this to see how, if I can get a good amount of detail in it. I'm just going to call it Tongue Bump real quick. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn that on for funsies. Now I'm going to double check to make sure this is unwrapped nicely. tabbing in and out is going to make it go a little slow. So in order to get, so if you've done like a, mul uh, used uh, the multi-res to do a normal map, you'd have to, you'd know you'd have to take this preview and you have to put it down because it has to read the very first. It works on zero or one. So I've tried it on both. I want to go to. I want to go to my scenes. You'll start on Eevee and you'll click Cycles. 
I'm just gonna close all these so you can see you go down. You wanna open bake, bake from multi-res. And you're gonna choose displacement. You can also choose normals in here, but we wanna, oops, wanna choose displacement. And, you know, you can use your margin here and have this selected. Hit bake, it's gonna give you this error. And it's looking for your bump information. So you need to input, uh, and not input, you have to put in a bump, there, yeah, bump here, and then a image texture. I'm gonna color it to height and normal to normal. We're gonna grab our tongue bump. So we're not gonna see anything quite yet. It's our active. Oops. I accidentally forget if you click anywhere within this space, it'll end up be. Now, as long as we have it selected, it should be reading and baking it. Here, now we can see our texture. It's really kind of compared to the original model. It's kind of, it's a lot more enhanced than this is, right? But we can fix that just by adjusting our strength and distance. I think I can just like get away with just doing the strength of it because the distance might be too drastic of a change. Oops, make sure that's not one. Not bad. Basically, you'd get a bet better, finer detail if you like bump the um, the preview or the sculpt. If you just keep adding subdivisions, you'll get a nicer whatnot. But you know, this is fine. It was all just like a bunch of tiny triangles anyway. It's only supposed to read as a time from a distance, and you know, now we have as the bump information, we can just mess around and make our tongue more shiny and stuff. Yummy. And so this should look good in rendered now. Let me not upgrade coat quick, that was probably wrong. There. Looks almost as good as the <laughs> high res. And you can you know, add your additional maps like normals and stuff. Alright. Hopefully that helps. I know there's a longer winded process that you'd have to go through, like 7.9, but if you're kind of keen on staying in 2.8, I figured out how to do a displacement map and baking it. Yay!